here we are again trying something potentially stupid so this thing uh, supposed to charge a battery with this solar panel uh, at about 0 0.5 watts and I measured the voltage I don't know if it's after these things were broken or not but the voltage is uh, 4.8 when uh, light is plenty so this I should be able to connect the solar panel directly to USB so don't write the comments because it will be late I'm just gonna try it and if every anything burns or everything <laughs> then oh well that's it so this should be low power enough to not cause any problems and the phone should charge with 4.8 volts but the problem is that this has very tiny tiny power 0 0.5 watts that's a uh, hundred milliamps so the weakest chargers have 500 and this is only 100 so yeah I may be able to use this but in another way tap into the battery with a power bank uh, electronics that has a step up uh, voltage regulator and blah 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 and it connects to the battery not to the solar uh, panel so yeah let's try to connect the USB enough talk let's burn something <laughs> let's open it up and uh, see what we see yeah here's the battery and we just need the solar panel which is active all the time the circuitry can't disable it so it should be the bottom one let's connect it to the circuit board oh it's not marked which one is the positive which one is the negative that's kind of important <laughs> so let's measure five volts oh i can't measure it like this because it's upside down it has no light so let's put the positive here and the negative here and move it towards the light So it's negative this way that means that the positive is on the right okay so let's uh, connect the positive there the USB oh not there on the circuit board I don't want to burn the uh, contacts of the solar thing so let's just put it here so that's the positive and this is the negative and uh, yeah it should just work I bet a lot of scientists <laughs> say that it just should work it should just work why is it not working I made it it should work so I'm just going to put in a charging cable and let's choose uh, eh, I think this one should charge maybe let's measure the voltage first let's turn it like this maybe I need a lamp yeah I started the lamp I hope you can see something and let's measure the voltage it's uh, so the red should be red positive negative 3.6 let's put it in a better position like this oh the battery fell out crap eh, sliding table everything is sliding on this one so now oh you can see it's 4 volts so I may, be, may have to put it closer to the lamp, but this will produce uh, 5 volts eventually. Let me just show you. Can I show you that it's 4 already? 4. 
and it goes up to 4.8 at maximum light so yeah this should charge the phone do you agree with me or not let's just put it next to the lamp up there and plug it in uh i don't have three hands to hold the phone Nah. Hey! It uh, tried! Yeah, it can't. Oh boy. It can't charge on uh, 100 milliamps. Okay, let's try another phone. This one is a lot uh, less picky. I mean, yeah, let's try this. It should eventually display the charging uh, screen. And I'm holding it wrong. Oh, I'm stupid. I held the LEDs to the light. And it tur it's turning on. Let's see if it charges. I mean for serious, because now it just... Uh, maybe it just started and shut it off again, like the other phone. Oh, it's at 100%, so this is not a good candidate. Oh boy, how can I verify this? It's at 100% and it's, uh, it's detecting that there's current. When you press the power button and it turns on, it means the charger is connected. So that's a positive sign. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try... I have a phone here somewhere that should should have lost some percentages and it's not turned on. Oh, it's turned on. Okay, then let's see the charging, uh, whatever. Where's better settings? All settings. Man, this is old. Battery. Okay, not charging. And I have a, an external plug here. Jerry rigged. So yeah, let's just put it in, not charging. Okay, let me put the solar thing next to the lamp and it's charging. Okay, okay. <laughs> it will take hours, but it's charging. So yeah. The best solution is to just charge the battery and whenever you need power you can really charge your phone from the 2000 mAh battery that will charge an average phone to at least 30%. So the battery can stay in the window or somewhere in the sun to charge up and when you need it you connect it to the phone and you get about 30-40%. That's a much better solution. Yeah. I will try to charge this phone to 100%. I'm kind of curious. Because this is really efficient. And it should charge up in a few days. <laughs> no, no, seriously, not in a few days. It has a 1600 mAh battery. So really small. And it should charge up in less than a day. So, I will try that, but for now it's a success. Simply connecting a USB port to 4.8 volts and poof, it charges the phone. Without any electronics and uh, trickery, we don't even use this uh, circuit board that has a chip somewhere. 
power regulator and stuff directly connected to the solar panel that cost me two bucks so this is a good thing i will think about this and maybe try some uh, other things <laughs>